Leviticus chapter 9 And it came to pass on the eighth day that Moses called Aaron and his sons and the elders of Israel. And he said unto Aaron, Take thee a young calf for a sin offering, and a ram for a burnt offering without blemish, and offer them before the Lord. And unto the children of Israel thou shalt speak, saying, Take ye a kid of the goats for a sin offering, and a calf and a lamb, both of the first year, without blemish, for a burnt offering. Also a bullock and a ram for peace offerings to sacrifice before the Lord, and a meat offering mingled with oil, for today the Lord will appear unto you. And they brought that which Moses commanded before the tabernacle of the congregation. And all the congregation drew near and stood before the Lord. And Moses said, This is the thing which the Lord commanded that ye should do. And the glory of the Lord shall appear unto you. And Moses and Aaron, and Moses said unto Aaron, Go unto the altar and offer thy sin offering and thy burnt offering, and make an atonement for thyself and for the people, and offer the offering of the people, and make an atonement for them as the Lord commanded. Aaron therefore went unto the altar and slew the calf of the sin offering, which was for himself. And the sons of Aaron brought the blood unto him, and he dipped his finger in the blood, and put it upon the horns of the altar, and poured out the blood at the bottom of the altar. But the fat and the kidneys and the call above the liver of the sin offering he burnt upon the altar, as the Lord commanded Moses. And the flesh and the hide he burnt with fire without the camp, and he slew the burnt offering. And Aaron's sons presented unto him the blood, which he sprinkled round about upon the altar. And they presented the burnt offering unto him, with the pieces thereof, and the head, and he burnt them upon the altar. And he did wash the inwards and the legs, and burnt them upon the burnt offering on the altar. And he brought the people's offering and took the goat, which was the sin offering for the people, and slew it, and offered it for sin as the first. And he brought the burnt offering, and offered it according to the manner. And he brought the meat offering, and took an handful thereof, and burnt it upon the altar, beside the burnt sacrifice of the morning. He slew also the bullock, and the ram for a sacrifice of peace offerings, which was for the people. And Aaron's sons presented unto him the blood, which he sprinkled upon the altar round about. And the fat of the bullock and of the ram, the rump, and that which covered the inwards, and the kidneys and the call above the liver. And they put the fat upon the breast, and he burnt the fat upon the altar, and the breast and the right shoulder Aaron waved for a wave offering before the Lord, as Moses commanded. And Aaron lifted up his hand toward the people and blessed them, and came down from offering of the sin offering, and the burnt offering, and peace offerings. And Moses and Aaron went into the tabernacle of the congregation and came out and blessed the people, and the glory of the Lord appeared unto all the people. And there came a fire out from before the Lord, and consumed upon the altar the burnt offering and the fat, which when all the people saw, they shouted, and fell on their faces. And Nadab and Abihu, the sons of Aaron, took either of them his censer, and put fire therein and put incense thereon, and offered strange fire before the Lord, 
which he commanded them not. And there went out fire from the Lord, and devoured them, and they died before the Lord. Then Moses said unto Aaron, This is it that the Lord spake, saying, I will be sanctified in them that come nigh me, and before all the people I will be glorified. And Aaron held his peace. And Moses called Mishael and Elzaphan, the sons of Uziel, the uncle of Aaron, and said unto them, Come near, carry your brethren from before the sanctuary out of the camp. So they went near and carried them in their coats out of the camp, as Moses had said. And Moses said unto Aaron, and unto Eleazar, and unto Ithamar, his sons, Uncover not your heads, neither rend your clothes, lest ye die, and lest wrath come upon all the people. But let your brethren, the whole house of Israel, bewail the burning which the Lord hath kindled. And ye shall not go out from the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, lest ye die, for the anointing oil of the Lord is upon you. And they did according to the word of Moses. And the Lord spake unto Aaron, saying, Do not drink wine, nor strong drink, thou, nor thy sons with thee, when ye go into the tabernacle of the congregation, lest ye die. It shall be a statute forever throughout your generations, and that ye may put difference between holy and unholy, and between unclean and clean, and that ye may teach the children of Israel all the statutes, which the Lord hath spoken unto them by the hand of Moses. And Moses spake unto Aaron, and unto Eleazar, and unto Ithamar, his sons that were left. Take the meat offering that remaineth of the offerings of the Lord made by fire, and eat it without leaven beside the altar, for it is most holy. And ye shall eat it in the holy place, because it is thy due, and thy sons do, of the sacrifices of the Lord made by fire, for so I am commanded. And the wave breast and heave shoulder shall ye eat in a clean place, thou and thy sons and thy daughters with thee, for they be thy due, and thy sons do, which are given out of the sacrifices of peace offerings of the children of Israel. The heave shoulder and the wave breast shall they bring with the offerings made by fire of the fat to wave it for a wave offering before the Lord. And it shall be thine and thy sons with thee by a statute forever as the Lord hath commanded. And Moses diligently sought the goat of the sin offering and behold, it was burnt, and he was angry with Eleazar and Ithamar, the sons of Aaron, which were left alive, saying, Whereof have ye not eaten the sin offering in the holy place? Seeing it is most holy, and God hath given it you to bear the iniquity of the congregation, to make atonement for them before the Lord. Behold, the blood of it was not brought in within the holy place, Ye should indeed have eaten it in the holy place as I commanded. And Aaron said unto Moses, Behold, this day have they offered their sin offering and their burnt offering before the Lord, and such things have befallen me, and if I had eaten the sin offering today, should it have been accepted in the sight of the Lord? And when Moses heard that, he was content. Chapter 11. And the Lord spake unto Moses and to Aaron, saying unto them, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, These are the beasts which ye shall eat among all the beasts that are on the earth. Whatsoever, whatsoever parteth the hoof, and is cloven-footed, and cheweth the cud among the beasts, that shall ye eat. Nevertheless, these shall ye not eat of them that chew the cud, or of them that divide the hoof, 
as the camel, because he cheweth the cud, but divideth not the hoof, he is unclean unto you. And the coney, because he cheweth the cud, but divideth not the hoof, he is unclean unto you. And the hare, because he cheweth the cud, but divideth not the hoof, he is unclean unto you. And the swine, though he divide the hoof, and be cloven-footed, yet he cheweth not the cud, he is unclean to you. Of their flesh shall ye not eat, and their carcass shall ye not touch, they are unclean to you. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters, whatsoever hath fins and scales in the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. And all that have not fins and scales in the seas, and in the rivers, of all that move in the waters, and of any living thing which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you. They shall be even an abomination unto you. Ye shall not eat of their flesh, but ye shall have their carcass, carcasses in abomination. Whatsoever hath no fins nor scales in their waters, that shall be an abomination unto you. And these are they which ye shall have in abomination among the fowls. They shall not be eaten, they are an abomination, the eagle, and the ossifrage, and the osprey, and the vulture, and the kite after his kind, every raven after his kind, and the owl, and the night hawk, and the cuckoo, and the hawk after his kind, and the little owl, and the cormorant, and the great owl, and the swan, and the pelican, and the gyre eagle, and the stork, and the heron after her kind, and the lapwing, and the bat, all fowls that creep, going upon all four, shall be an abomination unto you. Yet these may ye eat of every flying, creeping thing that goeth upon all four, which have legs above their feet, to leap withal upon the earth. Even these of them ye may eat, the locust after his kind, and the bald locust after his kind, and the beetle after his kind, and the grasshopper after his kind. But all other flying, creeping things, which have four feet, shall be an abomination unto you. And for these ye shall be unclean. Whosoever toucheth the carcass of them shall be unclean until the even. And whosoever beareth aught of the carcass of them shall wash his clothes and be unclean until the even. The carcasses of every beast which divideth the hoof and is not cloven-footed nor cheweth the cud are unclean unto you. Every one that toucheth them shall be unclean. And whatsoever goeth upon his paws among all manner of beasts that go on all four, those are unclean unto you. Whoso toucheth their carcass shall be unclean until the even. And he that beareth the carcass of them shall wash his clothes and be unclean until the even. They are unclean unto you. These also shall be unclean unto you among the creeping things that creep upon the earth, the weasel and the mouse and the tortoise after his kind, and the ferret and the chameleon and the lizard and the snail and the mole. These are unclean to you among all that creep, Whosoever doth touch them, when they be dead, shall be unclean until the even. And upon whatsoever any of them, when they are dead, doth fall, it shall be unclean, whether it be any vessel of wood, or raiment, or skin, or sack, whatsoever vessel it be, 
wherein any work is done, it must be put into water, and it shall be unclean until the even, so it shall be cleansed. And every earthen vessel, where into any of them falleth, whatsoever is in it shall be unclean, and ye shall break it. Of all meat which may be eaten, that on which such water cometh shall be unclean. And all drink that may be drunk in every such vessel shall be unclean. And everything whereupon any part of their carcass falleth shall be unclean, whether it be oven or ranges for pots, they shall be broken down, for they are unclean, and shall be unclean unto you. Nevertheless, a fountain or pit, wherein there is plenty of water, shall be clean, but that which toucheth their carcass shall be unclean. And if any part of their carcass fall upon any sowing seed which is to be sown, it shall be clean. But if any water be put upon the seed, and any part of their carcass fall thereon, it shall be unclean unto you. And if any beast of which ye may eat die, he that toucheth the carcass thereof shall be unclean until the even. And he that eateth of the carcass it shall and he that eateth of the carcass of it shall wash his clothes and be unclean until the even. He also that beareth the carcass of it shall wash his clothes and be unclean until the even. And every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth shall be an abomination, it shall not be eaten. Whatsoever goeth upon the belly, and whatsoever goeth upon all four, or whatsoever hath more feet among all creeping things that creep upon the earth, them ye shall not eat, for they are an abomination. Ye shall not make yourselves abominable with any creeping thing that creepeth. Neither shall ye make yourselves unclean with them, that ye should be defiled thereby. For I am the Lord your God. Ye shall therefore sanctify yourselves, and ye shall be holy, for I am holy. Neither shall ye defile yourselves with any manner of creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. For I am the Lord that bringeth you up out of the land of Egypt to be your God. Ye you shall therefore be holy, for I am holy. This is the law of the beasts, and of the fowl, and of every living creature that moveth in the waters, and of every creature that creepeth upon the earth, to make a difference between the unclean and the clean, and between the beast that may be eaten and the beast that may not be eaten. Chapter 12 And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the, speak unto the children of Israel, saying, If a woman have conceived seed, and born a man child, then she shall be unclean seven days, According to the days of the separation of her infirmity shall she be unclean. And in the eighth day the flesh of his foreskin shall be circumcised. And she shall then continue in the blood of her purifying three and thirty days. She shall touch no hallowed thing, nor come into the sanctuary until the days of her purifying be fulfilled. But if she bear a maid child, then she shall be unclean two weeks, as in her separation, and she shall continue in the blood of her purifying three score and six days. And when the days of her purifying are fulfilled, for a son or for a daughter, she shall bring a lamb of the first year for a burnt offering, and a young pigeon or a turtle dove for a sin offering, 
unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation unto the priest, who shall offer it before the Lord, and make an atonement for her, and she shall be cleansed from the issue of her blood. This is the law for her that hath born a male or a female. And if she be not able to bring a lamb, then she shall bring two turtles, or two young pigeons, the one for the burnt offering, and the other for a sin offering, and the priest shall make an atonement for her, and she shall be clean. 